Good morning to you and welcome to the legendary Montaigne Dragon's Back Race 2023. The brave and the bold have returned to Conroy Castle, but this time they're facing a completely different battle. 380 kilometres, six days over Wales' hardest, toughest mountains. They're about to realise their dream. After months and months of hard work, they're about to embark on one of the biggest challenges of their life to get to Cardiff Castle. But the big question is, what mood will the dragon be in this week? morning of the Dragon's Back race has started. The athletes have tackled the Carnedau and Lidera. Now they're making their way towards Er Uyva Snowden via the Creeb Goch. Now this part of the race fills them with dread and I can vouch for that experience because when I did it this was the bit that I really feared but I didn't have to because with hindsight it was the highlight of my week. I broke it into four parts and when I got to this particular point, I turned around, that's all I could hear was my heartbeat and I looked at this amazing scenery around me and it made me feel so small, very humbling experience and that's what makes this race so special. It breaks you down but then it rebuilds you and if you're lucky enough to get to that finish line, you'll walk away six inches taller. So this week I'm looking forward to meeting runners from all corners of the world. Some of them world-class athletes and some of them new to the world of ultra running. They all have one thing in common. They all have their own personal reason for racing the toughest mountain race in the world. And I'll be finding out why they are here racing the Dragon's Back race and what's keeping them going. What's their motivation to getting to Cardiff Castle? Day one is done and hopefully many of the runners will have learned some tough and harsh lessons following today's stage and before tomorrow's 59 kilometre. The talking camp has been all about the heat and about drinking enough water, fueling enough and dipping those toes into the many streams and lakes that will be there tomorrow. Personally, I love the relentless undulating terrain except for that cheeky little tarmac section that took you towards the finish line in Delgese. So let's see who makes it there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 